Hello everyone, welcome to Team Hack Life. Today I'll be talking about artificial super intelligence and how ASI could destroy humanity. Technological advancements like artificial intelligence has always been met by apprehension, especially when it ventures into the unknown or when the venture is to create innovations that will change how we experience life. That was the case with airplanes, electricity, space travel, the creation of atomic bombs, and a whole lot of other discoveries. However, nothing has come close to the apprehension as well as the excitement that is associated with artificial superintelligence and how ASI could one day destroy humanity. And if you think I'm just saying these types of things to scare people, well, people like Elon Musk has gone on record many times saying that AI is the greatest threat to humanity, period. Here's an excerpt of the Joe Rogan podcast he was featured on, and this will give you a little bit of an idea of what he was talking about. The percentage of intelligence that is not human is increasing, and eventually we will represent a very small percentage of intelligence. I try to convince people to slow down, slow down AI, to regulate AI. This was futile. I tried for years. Usually it'll be something, some new technology that will cause damage or death. There will be an outcry, there will be an investigation, years will pass, there will be some sort of insight committee, there will be rulemaking, then there will be oversight, eventually regulations. This all takes many years. This is the normal course of things. This time frame is not relevant to AI. It can't take 10 years from the point at which it's dangerous. It's too late. But one thing is for sure, we will not control it. That is just a small voiceover of Elon Musk, and I will have the full interview with Joe Rogan in the description below. After you've listened to this video, please let me know in the comment section, what do you think is the greatest threat to humanity? Do you think it is artificial super intelligence, or do you think it's something else? I'd love to hear from you. As with most things at science, pop culture has helped fuel the speculation. From Star Wars to Stanley Kubrick's Space Odyssey, The Matrix, Terminator, Resident Evil, and more recently, Transcendence, the suggestion has been that as machines acquire more cognitive abilities, it is inevitable that they will seek to one day take the place of humans. Dismissing this conclusion of events is easy. However, when you realize how far AI has come, and that a majority of the researchers in the field believe that we will achieve artificial general intelligence in the next two decades, the issue of having machines or systems that are more intelligent than human raises concern. To fully understand artificial superintelligence and the negative impact it can someday have, an understanding of the various levels of artificial intelligence is essential. The basic definition of artificial intelligence is a machine that can simulate or mimic the intellectual abilities of a human. That is, the ability to get new information and the rules governing the use of this information, reasoning, using the rules and data to reach definite conclusions and problem solving. Other skills, depending on the purpose of the AI, may include understanding language and speech. There are, however, three levels of artificial intelligence. The first one being artificial narrow intelligence, which is ANI. ANI is the simplest form of AI and the one currently in existence. The difference with the rest of the AI still under research and development is that ANI specializes in a single task or field. ANI is also present with varying abilities, for example, a calculator and the computer game's AI against which you play. It is also known as EEK, AI because it perceives and acts on its situation without the concept of the outside environment. Still, even among ANI, there are sophisticated systems such as the Google search engine, Siri, and algorithms for large online stores like Amazon, as well as online movie stores like Netflix. The difference between these modern ANI and the earlier form is that they can go backward in time and study past behaviors. The ANI will then store the information along with whatever has been pre-programmed in them. They will then use this information in the current and future instances to make more accurate decisions. There is further ongoing work in the ANI field that should see them able to diagnose and recommend medical care to patients, 
prepare taxes, offer legal counsel, and drive cars. The second type of AI is Artificial General Intelligence, also known as AGI. Artificial General Intelligence is the next step up of Artificial Intelligence. It means Artificial Intelligence with human level capacity across all areas. While most ANI can replicate or even surpass the human ability in one area, they cannot match it or perform any functions in a different space. The generalist aspect of the human mind is what makes it unique and powerful, and AGI would need to be able to learn as the human brain does through its own experiences with the world instead of just the data programmed in it. It is projected that the world would see the advent of AGIs by the year 2030. And now for the third type of AI, Artificial Superintelligence, which is ASI. Artificial superintelligence is the last step in AI and will have the ability to surpass or outperform the most intelligent humans in every intellectual factor and by an extreme margin. Its learning and knowledge will be infinite. It will also have the ability to create better machines than humans, which various thinkers believe would result in an intelligent explosion. An event that is feared will leave humans left behind in the evolution curve. The attainment of artificial superintelligence is the most feared stage of artificial intelligence because it is highly unlikely that any intelligent form will want to lose its autonomy to a less intelligent one. Even before getting to the artificial superintelligence level, there are already several negative impacts being experienced as a result of AI, one of which would include job losses. Every technological innovation has always resulted in a massive loss of employment. Most of the time, these has been compensated by the opening up of new fields in the marketplace, and most of the time requiring little training. However, artificial intelligence is set to redefine the whole working culture. It does not require supervisors, and as it spreads in all industries and aspects of society, many people will find themselves jobless or working far fewer hours. From drivers, security people, teachers to doctors, lawyers, pilots, stock traders, more professionals will be out of work with some already experiencing the effects. It is also not feasible to suggest all these people will suddenly become programmers and even then AI itself will be doing that. It will cause upheaval as people look for ways to earn livelihood and adapt to the changing work culture. And that leads to a second negative impact is the pressure on society's support system. Most people who have been rendered redundant and who lack any skills to adapt to the job market usually ends up on welfare. However, when a large number of people are rendered obsolete, an already stretched system will not be sufficient anymore, and then everyone will feel the impact as taxes rise to help support the social programs. A third negative impact is invasion of privacy. The use of AI has already led to many issues with privacy, from spying people's online activities to their daily activities when interacting with other AI-powered systems like Cornica, Echo, and other assistant software. Cambridge Analytica is a case in point in which AI was used not only to spy on people's preferences, but further use the information obtained to target the individuals with political messages meant to change the outcome of elections worldwide. Unfortunately, many incidents had already happened after uncovering this issue. And the fourth negative impact already being experienced is the need for trial and error before perfecting the system. Every innovation requires some level of testing, and there is risk associated with the initial use in public. However, with all other technologies, the creators fully understood the system and knew their potential dangers, resulting in the placement of safeguards. The problem with recent forms of AI is that they are still prone to glitches. Even in the field, the creators do not yet understand how deep learning occurs and how the AI will react to new case scenarios. Such a situation has happened before in one case where a Microsoft chat robot 
with the persona of a girl turned into a profane Hitler-loving robot after encountering a new user behavior in the form of baiting. Another more fatal example was the case of a self-driving Tesla where the AI autopilot camera and front-facing radar all failed to detect a tractor trailer mistaking it for a variety of things resulting in an accident. In Tesla's defense, however, the driver was repeatedly warned to take over the wheel. Unfortunately, the driver was unresponsive. There is a link of the full article regarding this incident in the description below. Such risk can only increase with the widespread use of AI as the creators miss out on vulnerabilities and need more years to fix emerging issues. Even as AI advances, the negative impact can only get more significant due to several AI dangers. Some of the risks are inherent due to the way AI works, human errors or intentions. Now here's a look at ways in which AI can become very dangerous. The first is the AI is programmed for destructive activities. As it is often the case with any scientific field, all nations are involved in a race to be the first to possess the most advanced form of AI. This has inevitably led to the integration of AI into the military. As the AI system gains more autonomy, we could get to a point where war begins when an AI system responds to either rogue command or, or wrongfully interprets a threat. We could see a scenario where this happens and no one's able to shut them down as the AI follows a set goal of defense. Another one is creating powerful AI systems. Even if artificial intelligence programming only allows it to do one thing in the wrong hands, this could have a devastating impact from fraud through identity theft, cyber attacks, market crashes, and even war are all possible. Unlike other war weapons that requires massive capital investments and can be affected by physical distance, all one needs in this case is access to an AI system or a good programmer. The increase in devastating cyber attacks across nations and corporations, even security organizations like the FBI, mean such a threat is always lurking and maybe just a matter of time. Another danger is the lack of aligning one's goal to the AI's or the AI's wrongful interpretation of inputs can result in a fatal result on both the user as well as the rest of the public. Take the simple case where you have an AI-powered vehicle with advanced abilities. If you request to get somewhere fast, the AI will try to find the most efficient way to do which may clash with other people resulting in either traffic accidents and you may have little to no control in the midst of all these events. Writing efficient orders rely on how specific the goal can be, which unfortunately is not how human functions and speech work. On the other hand, AI cannot fully translate human intentions through speech which can be a problem. And of course, one other danger is the lack of regulation and ethical framework in developing AI. As already mentioned, developing AI has the advantage of being less capital intensive compared to other technological innovations. It means a group of skilled programmers can create an AI in the privacy of their own basement. Given that most of the frontrunners are keeping their breakthroughs secret until they unveil their new products, little is known about any safeguards and threats posed by each advanced AI introduced for public use. The lack of regulation means humanity could find itself using AI with capabilities users do not understand and even the creators has no control or safeguards. And that leads us to the ultimate threat to humanity. The main danger that most scholars in the field of tech and science like Elon Musk, Bill Gates and the late Stephen Hawkins are apprehensive about is what may happen the moment AI gets to the artificial general intelligence level and artificial super intelligence. These two levels of artificial intelligence are no longer an object of science fiction but only a matter of time. It is surprising that little research has been spent on the kind of safeguards that can be put in place. These AI safeguards would be there to avoid the ultimate danger AI may pose to humanity, like the Terminator for example. The argument behind the existential threat posed by AI to humans is made on three primary front. First, a superintelligence AI may reach the level of self-awareness 
and start having its own goals different from what was programmed in it. Given its intellectual capacity, it seeks to achieve these goals which may not align with humanity's goals. Another argument states that a machine even with superhuman intelligence will still stick to its original purpose. The only challenge is that such AI will develop self-preservation as a sub-goal. And like humans, the AI would seek to fulfill this through any means necessary. They would regard any obstacle including being switched off as threats to its goal creating a source of conflict. The final argument borrows the self-preservation premise. This time, ASI would use self-preservation to pit themselves in competition for the limited resources. One resource in particular is energy. The ASI could then seek to eliminate humans to avoid competition for these limited resources. But whatever is your inclination towards AI, it is essential to know that surveys done amongst researchers in the field has the most pessimistic ones saying artificial superintelligence will be reached in the next 75 years. The optimistic researchers would have that technology invented much sooner. It could ultimately be man's last innovation should intelligence explosion occur, and the consequences may have a catastrophic impact on humankind's existence. Let me know in the comment section if you believe this type of danger is worth worrying about. The more I tend to dive into this subject and also listen to some of Elon Musk's interview about AI, I tend to believe that this could become a real problem to humanity. Thank you for watching, leave a thumbs up, and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And visit my website. Thank you, goodbye.